Hey guys, so today I have a really fun, exciting video for you guys because I have a huge collective beauty haul. I've been going shopping a lot lately and these are all the stuff that I've got for the past two to three months. So there are a lot of stuff that I can't wait to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video because it's gonna be a long one. Now moving on to my Sephora bag, I have plenty of stuff in it so the first thing that I picked up is a fragrance and this is Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. This smells amazing, very fresh, very gooey and the packaging is to die for. So adorable right? Just love it. It has like a little floral fruity scent to it. I don't know how to describe this scent but it smells super super good. And when I got this perfume, it actually comes with two sample size of the perfume and the body lotion that has the exact smell. Really really good deal. Love it. The next thing that I picked up is a set of nail polishes and this is from Nail Inc. London. This set is their Autumn Winter Collection. Really pretty fall colors really like this wine color right here. I actually got this for 40% off so it was such a great deal I have to grab it. The next thing that I picked up is a repurchase and this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Love this stuff. I think this is my fourth photo already. I will keep repurchasing this. This helped my makeup last all day long. Highly recommend this one. The next thing is also a repurchase and this is my Professional by Benefit. Favorite primer of all time. Help me to smile since my pores. Love it. And this is my Holy Grail foundation, my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation that has SPF 10. I'm in the shade 1W2 Sand. This stuff is amazing. Full coverage, stay in place all day long, stay matte all day long. What can I say? Love this stuff. The next thing that I picked up is um, Too Faced Lip Liner and I got it in the shade Perfect Nude. This is a retractable lip liner. Um, I've heard so many good things about this one too and this one is just a dark nude color really love this shade so can't wait to try this out I also got the um, brushes from the Sephora Pro Airbrush line these are amazing brushes I've already got the number 56 foundation brush and I decided to get another two of the siblings this is in um, number 55 and this is number 57 which is a concealer brush and the 55 is actually a, I, didn't say, I think it's a foundation brush. Um, let me just open it up and show you guys how it looks like. So this is number 55, this is the foundation brush, really soft very fluffy love it and this is number 57 this is the concealer brush and this one just looks like this very soft and I think this one will blend like magic highly recommend it. I also picked up the next incredible waterproof concealer this is in the shade beige I believe yes this is in, yeah this is in the shade beige and this one I actually wanted to use it to conceal my lips before I apply like any dark colors on my lips so hopefully this one is good can't wait to try it so I kind of splurged myself a little bit by getting some Dior products the first thing that I got is their five colors eyeshadow palette I've been wanting one for the longest time but it's always so expensive I didn't really want to spend so much on a eyeshadow palette like this but it is so good I cannot resist so in the end I just give in so I got it in the shade 796 in Cure Canage I don't know if I pronounced it correctly but I'll link it down below so this one just looks like this it comes with a velvet pouch very fancy and this one is in the black um, packaging like this I think they um, kind of changed the packaging a little bit so this is what it looks like these shades are gorgeous this is just like a perfect warm smoky eye shadow palette perfect for fall I can also use this as like a daytime look so really really um, versatile really nice love it the next Dior product that I picked up is their Dior Addict um, Lip Glow 
and this one is just a lip balm but this is pretty interesting it actually changes your lip color um, based on your body temperature so I thought it would be interesting to try this thing out and this one just looks like this it's the color revival balm and the packaging of it is adorable and this one just looks like this um, just a pink um, lip balm nothing so special except that it changes color so can't wait to try it so as I reach the checkout counter you know um, Sephora always have some you know sample size products uh, lined up along their checkout counter so I got two of this picked up the first one is their Ico exclusive mascara and eyeliner travel size dual it comes with a lengthening skinny mini brush mascara and a liquid eyeliner in the shade black I always wanted to try um, the mascara from Ico but because I have so many more to finish up so I didn't want to get the full size of it so the sample size travel size sorry the travel size of this mascara is just perfect for me and this just a really nice wand um, I think it's perfect for lower lashes can't wait to try this out and it also comes with the eyeliner with a felt tip brush like this and this one is let me just see oh really nice intense black color and then the last thing that I got is the double trouble set by Bare Minerals it comes with a lipstick and a lip gloss the lipstick is in the shade let me see oh my gosh it has like the cutest little baby lipstick like this it's in the shade make your move this one is the um, another mauve pink color um, it's like a 90s inspired kind of mauve pink I really gravitate towards this kind of lip color right now Ugh, obsessed and the lip gloss that comes with it is in the shade smooth talker so this one just looks like this um, this shade actually really reminds me so much of the NARS Orgasm blush um, really pretty coral pink color and it's it looks pretty creamy hmm really pretty good stuff so that's all I got from Sephora and moving on to MAC and I got some lip products picked up from MAC oh my gosh I got so many lip products this time oh my gosh what's happening to me so I'm gonna talk about the lip pencils that I picked up I got two of them the first one is in the shade Spice and this one just um, just a brownish pink color really spicy as the name says really pretty other lip pencil that I got is in the shade Plump and this one I actually use it on my last fall tutorial um, if you haven't watched it I'll link it down below but I actually use this lip pencil and um, there goes another lipsticks that I'm gonna mention later so this is the swatch of the shade Plump it is a very pretty plum color love this and I actually paired with another lipstick that I picked up this lipstick is from the matte collection line and this is in the shade fashion revival and this one is just a really really gorgeous um, berry shade let me just swatch it for you here's the swatch of it this is a perfect fall lips really love this kind of berry shade another lipstick that I got is also from the matte collection and this is in the shade pander me and this is just a really pretty brownish peachy color and it's also a really 90s inspired um, kind of color this is the swatch right here really beautiful matte color and then the last lipstick that I picked up is their amplified cream lipstick in the shade blankety and this one is just a pretty nude color and this one just looks like this this is the swatch right here and you can see I'm so sorry about my dirty hands with all these swatches very very crazy swatches on my hands right now so this is blankety really pretty nude color and that's all I got from MAC